what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The police pepper sprayed a seven year old boy at a protest in Seattle at the beginning of June. And the family, the parents, they want answers. They said, Mr. Piggy, why the hell did you mace my son? Well, they didn't call him Mr. Piggy, but I'm sure they wanted to. Anyway, fam, there's a viral video out of it where the protesters are trying to uh, pour, they're pouring some type of uh, milk-like substance on the boy's face, trying to help him out, you know, trying to get him back to normal after being pepper sprayed by the police. The protesters also confronted the officer who they accused of pepper spraying the little boy and they asked for his badge number, but he refused to give it to him. I think it's the law that you're supposed to give people your badge numbers, the citizens who pay your salary, your badge number when you are asked to. Any cops out there, if you're watching, drop a comment, let us know. Aren't you, are you supposed to give your badge number if someone asks for it? Uh, this video shows the protesters like not just confronting the officer, but like angrily confronting him, charging him up. He looked a little scared too. Mando Avery, the father of the seven-year-old boy said he and his son had just finished praying with the church as part of an anti-racism protest, peaceful anti-racism protest, when one of the officers just fired off on the crowd and hit his son in the face. When asked by a news outlet what he would say to the cop who allegedly pepper sprayed his son, he said, I would ask him, why did you target my son? That's it? Why did you target my son? He seemed like a very, very nice guy. Like, why did you target my son? I don't think I would have words for the dude. Like, be more like, what would you do to the officer who pepper sprayed your son in the face, you know? Because that's an attack. That's gotta be illegal, right? You can't just pepper spray people unprovoked. It's a peaceful protest. The people have a right to defend themselves against tyranny. Police officers just can't fire off on citizens and get away with it. The citizens have a right to defend themselves. The boy's father also claimed that officers and a group of first responders who were standing like uh, just a block away refused to assist them. So they just stood there, just watched the action like everybody else. So he said that these guys basically failed their job. And I agree. I agree they failed their jobs. You are paid to protect the public, not attack the public, but to protect the public. Why is it so hard to do your job? It's a job that all you got to do is just stand there and just let people move about. It's pretty easy. No officer who's paid to protect actually protected. None of them did the job. Let me talk to the officers out there, the good ones. You swore to serve and protect the citizens of the United States of America. Why is it so hard to break ranks 
when one of your own breaks the law. What's more important? Breaking the law or breaking rank? I'll leave you to think about that for a moment. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.